Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It is a it's a mess in here. I feel like a as bad as it looks in the shed right now. I feel even I feel kind of like a wreck myself after yesterday. I am. I recovered. No, that was a that was a day, man. Yeah. Like, like I packed so much stuff, and and then the day before, there was a lot of stress involved. I don't. I mean, like, I like making the money on that kind of flip, of course, and it was exciting and everything. Yeah. But man, I don't know if I could handle that very often. It's just so like, I don't know. I was over like I was overly stressed for no reason about that deal. I don't know why. I, it wasn't even I, the money well, as much. It, it was for me because of how much we paid per unit. Yeah. And I wasn't, I, I hadn't really prepared myself for how well they were selling or what our profit margin was going to be. So I was kind of stressed about how much we paid per unit. It ended up working out, but that's what stressed me. I knew we'd be able to move them. I, I'll be I just, honest. I, I'll be honest. I wasn't stressed about like the results of that flip as much as I was, I knew I was going to share it on YouTube and I usually don't like, I don't sweat any of that stuff, but I knew I had the potential to look like a really big fool. And I know who wants to look like a, well, an if, idiot. If it didn't work out, you just don't tell anybody. Oh no, I'm going to tell them <laughs> if, it, if it doesn't work. If it didn't work out the video, I, the video probably do even better. I lost my, 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 you know what on the, these McDonald's happy meal toys. Really? You paid $900 and you lost money on, on happy meal toys. Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like it's so easy to pick that apart. And then not only that, like I posted on Instagram about the deal. Like, do y'all think I should buy this? And uh, everybody was just, it was so one-sided. No. Everybody said that. Like, it was the most one-sided thing. It, it's, it was not, almost. Not just no, but are you crazy now? Right. <laughs> it, right. It's almost like, it's almost like if it was so one-sided, it's almost like if I asked a bunch of human beings if they liked oxygen. Yeah. or not and they yeah. all said yes that's how one-sided it was yeah. <laughs> so that part made me like think did i miss something or they, did they did they announce or like releasing a bunch more did the market just crash or like uh, right after we took possession i have like, a feeling in the next week or so the market is going to crash so right we were, i'm glad we were able to get in and get out oh yeah so yeah that's behind us that was a great experience awesome thing today's friday uh we hit a few sales this morning We'll be showing you that um, after orders get pulled. And yeah, it is still a mess in here. I'm still, yeah. I'm working through this dishware and I'm almost through. And then Lonnie like kind of convinced me I should keep some of it. Yeah, I did. I talked her into keeping yeah. some of the pieces because, you know, yeah. some of it, one of them she was looking at, she was about to list it and she was looking at it. And she's like, <laughs> man, I really, this is so cool. This is so cool. I'm like, like, just keep the stuff. Uh -huh. But like the, like pictures and a cookie jar i won't use stuff like that and that's the big money stuff anyway so okay yeah cool. i'll sell those things that I'm yeah, like. one good thing about that flip though is it like we bought it i know i'm still thinking about it it was like a big deal it was I fun know. I know, it was fun it was a lot of fun but one one thing i did like about that flip is how we bought the stuff and then the next day we sold all of it and then today, like, there's no signs of that flip anywhere Oh, yeah, around. overnight, it was all gone. Right. Within 24 hours, it was all gone. It's so crazy. Uh, try, let me see you do that with those dishes. You know what I mean? Or the other stuff. Okay. I'm not talking about just dishes, though. Most of the stuff we list is not like We're that. hating on my dishes. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> hate. I, I, you know, I'm just going to grumble and cuss whenever they, if they sell. If and when they sell, I'm, Candace is going to be happy they sold. And I'm going to be like, yay, now I get to pack some glass. <laughs> she's mad. Like, that's legit. She's not even acting right now. That's legit. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll just buy some big old stereo receivers to pack. <laughs> Y'all will see something like that in a little while. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got to add it to my unlisted stereo uh, component collection. collection I have stereo, collection. got a stereo down there behind that box of other stuff that's not listed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pull some orders, y'all. We I pulled. Um, actually, we had a good sales day of other stuff besides the uh, McDonald's toys. I pulled and packed and got all the orders out 
yesterday up last till yeah. up to what eight o'clock last night yeah. and then we still have uh right now i think maybe about 10 orders to pull or something yeah. so um sales have been like picking up a little bit and uh fourth yeah quarter starting to roll along yeah we had our little fourth quarter kickoff party with the uh <laughs> mcd's toys but yeah let, let's go pull some orders and we'll let candace go uh list some uh problems for some me to stuff. some problems for me to solve later <laughs> okay first up we sold a digimon d delta six i think it was yeah man the digimon drawer is such a dream to pull from everything's perfect in there uh this little guy sold for 14.99 plus shipping on top and supposedly on two bravo we have a tennis racket we'll see Oh, we do actually have a tennis racket over here. Sold it, sold it fairly cheap. Has a bad grip and stuff, but the uh, racket itself is pretty decent. This sold $18.74 plus shipping on top. Stay. Going to the card box, uh, we sold a couple of Albert Pujols cards. No, I'm not gonna fall into a122. Okay, I'm not going to fall into my uh, Albert Pujols comedy routine again. But yeah, we sold A22. Yeah, this one right here sold for $5.99 plus ship. And then A125 right here. This guy sold for $7.99 plus ship. Those are two separate orders, too. On CC7, we sold this. Uh, little sling pack thing which is actually it's really nice it's a red rock outdoor gear i think it's i don't think it's being used or, or not much at all uh anyway this we bought this i think i paid five for this like six months or more ago 18 dollars 74 plus shipping on top a couple years ago <laughs> it's actually been like probably two years we bought some Boy Scout stuff, vintage Boy Scout stuff, if y'all been watching for a while. Um, we bought, at the sale, I got this. I bought a uh, vintage Boy Scout uniform with a sash with all kind of rare, um, like rare aviation badges and stuff like that on the sash. Ended up selling all the Boy Scout stuff for just under two grand. Paid $2 for it. <laughs> but uh, at that same sale, also bought some Cessna parts and this we, we had some that did really well uh like 100 bucks or so and i'm talking like as is parts only you know like i would i would never sell aviation parts that are meant to just be popped in but this is a tachometer from a cessna this sold for 24.99 plus shipping on top in as is condition got to go back and get this car box again i thought i was done with it but I forgot we have a uh, we have an auction and we actually have another car that sold too. I put an Andrew Wiggins signature card up for auction and I probably should have waited. Wait, I look, I think I might have. No, I didn't. That's a Drew Holiday. A51. I probably should have waited a little while to do that. Uh, see if he really blew up this year or what. But yeah, this card I put up at auction and it got $35.09 plus shipping on top. This is one of 49. And then also on the A row, A row, <laughs> sounds like I have a really stupid way of saying arrow. Uh, 129, we sold, I think it's this one. No, that's not right. Oh, it's A139. The A139. Here. Uh, this Apocalypse card. This is a uh, an insert card, I think, from 1995, a hollow flash. And this sold for $29.99 plus shipping on top. So both of these cards will go eBay standard envelope. And both of these cards are worth over $20. So they're going to have to go first class package. And one more thing from Tiger Drawer. We sold these Digimon cards at auction. Uh, got $61 plus shipping on top. We did put the 
The uh, deck came with three like hollow cards or rares or whatever. I don't know what you call them. Uh, we put those in top loaders and the rest of them are in this baggie here. This sold for $61 plus shipping on top at auction. So that's everything right here that sold since approximately 8 o'clock last night. Okay, got all that stuff packed. And I want to make a quick note about this uh, tennis racket here. This tennis racket, once it's packaged, yeah, I just put two priority boxes together. But uh, you can see it, it measures uh, 29 inches long here. And that's important because I keep a little sticky note on my monitor right here. 22 to 30 inches, so less than 22 inches, no surcharge for USPS priority. 22 to 30 inches, $4 surcharge, which is what that has on it. So whatever the shipping would normally cost, the customer has to pay $4 more. And eBay automatically calculates that, provided you put the uh, true dimensions in whenever you list your item. But it's important because if you go over 30 inches on your package, well, now you're looking at a $15 surcharge and really on a, on a cheap tennis racket, that's just not, that's not feasible really. Like at that point, the people are going to be paying uh, more for shipping than they are for the tennis racket. And not to mention, uh, you're going to end up paying eBay fees on that $15 extra uh, shipping surcharge too, which I didn't even think of that until now. That, that kind of sucks. So just something to keep in mind. Under 22, no surcharge, 22 to 30, $4 surcharge, over 30, or 30 to some amount, I don't know what the max is, uh, $15 friggin' surcharge. And you can see it here, two pounds, 29.12.3. Trying not to show customer info. The price is 12.82, that's going to Michigan. But if I just knock, if I, if I put it, let's say it was 21 inches, then it should be $4 less. And yeah, see it's 882. So before they started doing this silly little uh, surcharge thing, that tennis racket would only cost eight dollars and eighty-two cents to ship. All right, we had uh, we had one more order come in just now, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it so we can get it out of here for Friday. I think it's this right here. Or is this? Yep, Hill Figure overalls. These sold. Uh, we bought these last Friday at a garage sale for $10 and sold them for $85 plus shipping on top or $84.99 plus shipping on top. So I think Candace might have spent 20 minutes on the listing or so. So that was a really successful flip. Oh, she also washed them, washed them, and then um, hung them up to dry and then spent about 20 minutes on the listing. So that was a really good one too. Well, that was weird. A little, little premature on showing y'all this order for the overalls. So I went to print. They paid and everything. I went to print the label. And it's Puerto Rico, which that's fine. I've sold plenty of stuff to Puerto Rico. Um, but the problem was one of the lines of the address had like 50 characters. And when I tried to buy the label, eBay said address must be 40 characters or less on the, per line or whatever and it had red on that line but my question is if ebay has that stipulation it has to be less than 40 characters why didn't it error out on the buyer's end when they were making the order i don't understand that like that should be like really basic coding i would think but anyways um no, sometimes like it, it was a weird line too because it said like 6.7 kilometers past something or another. Like it was almost like giving directions somewhere. I, and I just was not comfortable with the situation at all. So um, I, I told the buyer, I said, look, it, it looks like there's a problem with this address. If you want to fix it and then repurchase, um, but I'm going to have to cancel the order due to the address. And sometimes I would actually go out on a limb, like if everything looks good, but then they say they moved or something like that, and it's a $20 item, I'll just go ahead and ask them, you know, get that address, put it, edit the address and send it and not worry about it. But on $85 item where the address is really botched up, 
nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to edit the address at all and then have the customer later say they didn't get the $85 item. And then when I edited it and eBay goes, oh, you edited the address and the customer saying you put, you did it wrong. Well, that ain't my job to put the address in. That's the customer. So I went ahead and canceled it. Okay, if, if you're not a reseller, you're not going to appreciate this. But if you're a reseller, you might. <laughs> Candace. I, I made a little uh, uh, pho photography run to Michael's craft store. Um, they have this, it's not poster board, it's actually like a plastic. So I think oh. that'll be more durable and I can clean it off. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's like a real thin oh. vinyl or something like that. But it's like poster board. Yeah, and, and, it was, and it's flexible. It was only, like, I think it was a buck eighty. Oh, a buck eighty for that? That's the only color they had. That's a reseller hack right there, man. Like that plus some lights, yep. and you got that curve. That's a good deal for resellers. Yep. Oh, y'all. They have other thicknesses too, but um, I thought that was a good flexible. Yes. Uh, I got some Galaxy poster uh, board. For I my, love it. For action figures. Uh, we may be using that way more than for way more than action figures. This is um, like water. I don't know if you can pick that up on the screen. It's got a little. It's got some texture. It's not really texture. It just looks like texture mm -hmm. to look like water. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. Um, and then we needed another black. Um, black black gets dirty and bent up and stuff real and quick. I, I went for um, also black foam board, but they had like this construction, so I thought that would be fine. You know, it's it's light more lightweight to move around in the store and yeah, that's dinner. pretty cool. Yeah, so like if you're doing that, you can just stick your poster board. With the price tag down, of course. Right. And you'll have like a complete. Uh, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. You did good. Yeah. So how much was this board? Like six, seven bucks or no, something? No, it was over ten dollars. What? Yeah. Good lord. Yeah, those things are expensive now. Hmm. They didn't have foam board, I take it. They did. Foam board's even more expensive. So, so a foam board we need to get from Walmart, huh? Yeah. But I thought I like the cardboard. I feel like it'll be more durable for us. Yeah, we, we Yeah, know. we we use that. And, it, and it's a lot thinner, so like for sliding it in places to store it, you know. Nice. So, I like it. Yeah. You did good. I really like that galaxy one. I know it's cool. And I like the vinyl, now the need, vinyl white one. I need to find some action figures this weekend so I can take pictures. Of yes. <laughs> All right, we got some stuff to show y'all from garage sales today. wasn't a wasn't a huge day, but we got we got a few things. Mm -hmm. Got some stuff to look at. We got uh, some stuff. This is not this is not that big of a deal. We. Candace, these are a quarter a piece. Yeah, we got these for like if, if we have like um. Especially the non-sports trading cards, if we have full collections, we like to, or, I don't know, just sometimes we store them in the sheets what? and binders, what? so I thought it'd be good. What? No, no, that's not, that's not what I thought you were going to say. Oh. We have we have a couple of binders up here right now. Oh, you want to well, trade Well, not this out? one. Well, I do want to, I want to trade this one out. To sell the binder itself? Yeah, this is an old vintage NBC binder or something. I want to try and sell yeah. this. That's a binder like the local networks had, the affiliate stations where they would send them those press photos. Right. So that's what that's from. Yeah, um, I want to sell that. Oh, well, yeah. That's what I thought we were doing, okay. but it didn't matter. Anyway, quarter for a binder. We're talking too much about a binder. Yeah, All we right. got two binders. <laughs> um, Carnival, uh, probably a swag bag. I don't know. Look like it was in good condition. Well, this is still attached. It's probably so. a giveaway. Yeah. Sure. So that was two dollars. Well, sometimes they do. You can buy like these packages for the um to be waiting in the stateroom for like people or kids. And this might have been like in a kids package, maybe with some snacks and stuff. No money in there. Two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we paid two dollars for that. Um, another Crown Royal bag, twenty five cents. This is the Saints edition, the football one. You know what's messed up though? I thought we had sold this exact bag for $25 not too long ago but no it was another bag it was a jersey bag and so now if we look over here I got Candace to tell me the location she looked it up we have all these like specialty crown royal bags here we also have an Amer American Girl skateboard over here <laughs> we have the most random well, stuff yeah <laughs> Uh, but then you see we have a bunch of, we already had six of these things and turns out we hadn't sold any and when we went and looked at our price it was super duper high so candace uh lowered the price on that listing 
added one quantity to it because that's in just as good a condition as the rest of them. There's no yep, issues there's with no it. No issues. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll sell it. So we bought something that we haven't actually sold we yet. Paid twenty five cents for it. Yeah, we did. All right, this is uh, calibration weights. Our we jeweler's weights or something. So, yeah. But it's this. I saw the case and it says Torball, and I, I looked it up after I bought it. It's only a buck. But just looking at it, I could tell it was good. Now, it is missing one of the weights right there. There are some smaller weights under these things. Yeah. Or other little pieces or something under the under here. Yeah. But if you look up that brand Torball, uh, I saw some pretty good comps for it. And I figured for a dollar, I had to take a stab at these little guys. I bet it. I wonder if that's German. This kind of stuff always seems to be German. You reason. always seem to buy German stuff. I do. I do. We actually had a question not too long ago. Um, seems like y'all are always buying German stuff. And it's true. Uh, whenever whenever I like see something and it's made... Oh, more German stuff. <laughs> whenever I see something and, I, and I, I see that it's made in Germany or made in England or made in France, I always pay attention because... If it's from there and it's over here, it's usually good quality. It's usually going to be good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's the reason. That's the reason they brought it over here. Fun fact, we shipped something to Germany yesterday. Wasn't it yesterday? Oh, yeah, 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 we did. Uh, somebody bought a couple of Dirk Nowitzki cards. Dirk Nowitzki from Germany. And they <laughs> went to Germany. I was like, Candace, you know, there's probably a lot of, like, Dirk German Nowitzki Dirk fans. Nowitzki fans over there. And uh, they probably have a hard time accessing cards. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah, we sent them over there. We, I, I did. Uh, eBay has their eBay Standard International. I I, I really quit fooling around with the um, uh, Pirate Ship International for now, and I'm going with the eBay International, which I know is a little more expensive for the customer, but it's so much easier and there's so much more uh, peace of mind because e you're buying it from eBay, so you know. Like, if they tell you didn't make it, you say, hey, the thing said eBay on it. Like, take care of it. Sorry. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah. German. Moving on. <laughs> German. Germany. Germany, okay. good sometimes for stuff. Uh, Marantz, um receiver? Is that what this is? No, it's a tape deck. Oh. So, a fully expect... It's a pretty gold color. Oh, it's it's beautiful. Beautiful deck. Yeah, uh, it's really clean too. Like the is. knobs are all clean. The back is everything's all clean. clean. Sticker still on there. Yeah, it looks like it got service. Let me see. Sir, oh look, invent something number. Oh, date. Okay, this this is probably a date it got serviced. I imagine this is from the seventies or eighties. I'm not sure though. But uh, anyways, he had twenty dollars on it. And I looked it up and I saw comps for these. Uh, I saw a, a, a comp for this. It sold for $100 as is, parts only. Because, you know, tape decks, they they always have belts in them and they're going to... It's probably not going to work. It's probably not going to work. I plan on selling it as is. I'll try it though. I'll yeah. see. But uh, yeah, look how clean. And I asked the guy... I said, hey, when's, do you know if this works? When's the last time you used it? I already knew the answer. The last time you used it was probably 1987 or something, or maybe 1997 because there's a sticker on the back. But uh, that, And that's what he told me. And I'm like, hey, will you take $10 for it since I don't know if it works or not? And he took it. So, And it's true. Like That, that was not lying or anything. He had 20 and I paid 10 Yep. This same guy. No. No, different guy. Different All right. guy. And this, this buy, I, I just love the wood grain look of this CB. That needs to be in a Smokey and the Bandit car. I mean, look how clean it is. Yeah. Doesn't it look good? Um, I don't know what I can get for this. I looked it up and it looked like some had sold for, it's been a while since one sold, honestly. You paid the 10? I paid the 10. I don't know why. All right, we have some Berkeys. Um, we paid $3 each for them. They're not new. But you know what they are? They're made in Germany. That's right. You're damn right they are. So we have the clog style, a pair of those, and a pair of the slide style. So, yeah. yeah, and they were uh, $3 a piece. Yeah. And Berkey, buy Birkenstock. They're made by Birkenstock. Yep. So, 
which we've never bought this brand before. I don't think we bought Birkenstocks before either. No. And they we were three dollars a pair, I think. Yeah, they are on this yeah. shoe itself. Yep. All right, let's look at some more stuff. So we have another round, but first I want to talk about those overalls again. The customer um, edited his address, bought them again. I pull up the interface, and then he uh, he also said that he's used that address before with no problems. And he has two feedback. He has the feedback from me. Might have another feedback from me now. Yeah, uh, he's and gonna have two. He's gonna get all kind of feedback. Because we automatically leave feedback when someone buys something. Right, but uh, this time the, the line above that had more than 40 characters. It had Puerto Rico, it had the zip code, and then it's also Puerto Rico and the zip code down below that, like the state or um, zip code fields. So, I told and I, I explained to him it says on the edit address screen that you may not be eligible for seller protection so that and I, I showed him that screen where it said too many characters and I said look um, I could edit this and that's probably what the other people did but I'm not going to <laughs> because I don't want to lose my seller protection not but, for a high dollar item for no me. not for 80 85 is a, a higher dollar item for us yeah so we're not going to do it yeah. Hopefully, I hope the guy understands. It's just, I know it's a pain in the butt for him. Let me see. I just got an, another notification. New messages. Let's see what he's saying. Uh, now he just, no, now now he tried giving me an address in, in the, uh, the messages. He doesn't understand. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's, I mean, I don't know what to do. I, I just told you, dude, you have to buy it. You have you to buy have to it, do it yourself. with the correct address yeah. format yourself. Yeah. Okay, I got to stop talking. I'm getting frustrated with this. Oh, man, I've been going back and forth with this guy. I'm about ready to just give up because I sent him a screenshot showing that his address was in the wrong format. And then he just sent, and I said, dude, I said, look, you're putting your country and your zip in the street, street address thing. I'm not going to change it. You have to buy it with the correct format, correctly formatted address, and then I would love to ship it to you. Back and forth, and he's telling me I bought other things, and he has. He's bought a couple other things, and then he tells me this. I would have liked to buy it. Wow, I don't understand. Well, that's because you're putting your friggin' you're putting Puerto Rico and your zip code on the street address, dude. And then so I just told him, I would have liked to ship to you, but you see the error message. I sent him a screenshot. Wrong format for address. It won't let me. Those other people probably edited your address to make it work. I am not willing to give up seller protection. Sorry. So I've asked this guy, if he if it happens again, I'm going to block him. Yeah. I mean, I want to sell the overalls to him. I really do. But he's he's been coddled by other sellers and just like reformat his address for him. Not doing it. <laughs> All right. Where were we? We were looking at this stuff, but okay. okay, we have a few more things that we picked up today. I mean, I'm not mad. It's just, it's just it's aggravating. It really is. All right. Um, I've sold like the vintage girly figural candles in the past. These are not girly, but they are from the '70s. This one is still in cellophane. Look at that. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, what? That's newsprint on the bottom or something. What is that? I don't know. Is it newsprint? Is that printing on the bottom of it? Isn't that weird? It is. It's like backwards or something. I don't know. This one has actual, like, a sticker. Christmas Inspirations. Jasco, 1978. Look at that. Yeah. Peace on Earth. How do you keep that in such good condition all those years? Look like somebody, like, started to light it. You can see it's kind of melted. And, it's, and, and then Mom said... And Mom's like, no! Don't burn the don't candle! Don't burn my candle! That's why those candles aren't are kind of dumb, right? <laughs> like, why put a wick on something that you don't? You, nobody wants to burn that. <laughs> so yeah, I got paid twenty five cents for each of those. Haven't looked them up. Don't know. Good time of year to uh, sell those though. Yeah. For for one thing, it's Christmas. And for another thing, there's a chance it might not melt on the way. True. <laughs> All right, we have a heat gun. Speaking of melt. For two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> If it, I don't think it's worth much, but uh, I thought it'd be a nice little tool to keep around here. We already have a little small heat gun to use, but look at that's industrial. That's man. a that's a big thing. Man. Yeah, that's a good one. So yeah, two, two bucks dollars. for that. And um, Cajun recipe cookbook, seventy five cents. I didn't even see him pick this up. Yeah, I was slick. Um, Cajun 
cookbooks tend to do well. Um, we've never sold any, but we were kind of perusing eBay. And we were like, maybe we should try them out. I'm going to try it. So we're trying it out. It's cer look, it's, it's certified Cajun. Wait, uh, was it printed like in New York? That must, that must look, mean. Look, printed in New England. New England? That was they, <laughs> New England don't know nothing about no Cajun. Morris Press Cookbooks. 2004. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Look. look that, that looks like my dad almost when it you first glance at kinda it. Kind of does. <laughs> my dad won a, a jambalaya cook off one time. Yeah, your dad was always cooking uh big old pots or something. Big old pots of stuff, yeah. <laughs> um I got these Reebok tennis shoes. Uh they're pretty clean. I don't even know. Do Reebok sell I don't, I don't know. That's it. well. Now this is a fine time to ask that question. Well, no, the reason I bought them, because <laughs> I can't tell them. I'll see if Molly wants them. She doesn't need. Do me. they fit her? Yeah, they're her size. I just bought her brand new tennis shoes, but if I can't tell them, there'll be an extra pair of shoes for her. Okay. Um. I bought this. I bought. Look, I watched when I was in high school. I watched these well i watched this, this movie the pistol that was a good movie by the way i've never seen that but then i watched all these uh i had these i, I rented these i remember from the video store wait is it him actually teaching how to yeah play? oh yeah and he shows like he sh how to dribble yeah he, you know what he how does to ball you know which one's how missing? to pass <laughs> how to shoot yeah we don't have the one i i, I thought i knew it was a four four video I set maybe in here but it's not but oh man okay anyway yeah i paid two dollars for that set wait this one's still sealed we could probably get like 100 bucks for that one sealed oh i don't know um you know maybe we'll send we're gonna send this one in to be graded. graded yeah we're gonna have to get this one graded okay. probably <laughs> right well that is everything we picked up today we went to boy did that knock your socks off yeah we went to nine sales yeah that really knocked y'all socks off huh you ready to quit your job and sell this stuff for a living? <laughs> I don't get your joke. I'm just saying, it, we, it wasn't like a great, a fantastic... I, mean, I thought you were referring to some socks. Oh, we did buy some socks. Yeah, I bought a pair of socks. No, a pack. A pack of socks. <laughs> a, not a pair. I bought, I bought a pack of socks. Also bought some underwear if we're going to get it all out there. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Can't, uh, we, we, went, we did find an FBA type... Not an FBA. HBA, HBA type seller and which we've done like big flips with before we're not in the mood for any of that and it's actually a lady we bought a bunch of stuff from last year but we did go shopping and, for and ourselves she texted candace and said hey we're having a sale and so we did go by there and i bought like well, i'm like well we're not really she had all the hair dye and all the health and beauty stuff and i was like you know what no i said i told candace said candace don't let me do anything stupid here <laughs> as soon as we walked up he said candace don't let me that's where we got those binders also. Yeah, we got binders and we got underwear, sock, just stuff for our own personal use. Yeah. Some of those little tooth toothpicker things, those little plastic Floss, things yeah, with the little floss thing on them. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm that's... Sure, I'm sure y'all are so excited to hear about that. All right, let's see if this Marantz works. This is a stereo cassette de SD1015. Lights up on the VU meters. And isn't this a weird looking little contraption here? I almost wonder, that's an odd, odd thing here. I don't know what the story is there. I do have a tape here. What I wanna do, I wanna just play the tape without it hooked up to anything and just see if it's moving or not. Cause if it's not moving, there's no point in even hooking it up to anything. it is moving it's fast forwarding and it's rewinding and it seems like to me oh look i can see the vu meter going too that's oh there is no oh that's right i was trying to adjust the volume there is no volume on this they have this uh recording level here but the volume of course is taken care of from you're just going to get your line out of this thing so to really test it, I'll have to hook it up. But this is uh, actually a pretty good sign. Every now and then, Candace just kills the lights to do her little, wow, that looks awesome. Yeah, so that's what, that's the reason I went and bought some new um, photography stuff. It, the green glows so much better with the black behind it. Way better. It shows up that. a lot better than that's the white. Nuts, yeah. Man. 
That is so cool. So I'm changing all the main photos on the VLS. I have some glowing. Oh, wait, hang on. Look, I have some glowing? some glowing VU meters over here. We're about to test this thing. Go ahead. I hooked up my little Bose speakers to it uh, right here on the um, line output. Have it volume up a little bit. They're in. I don't think there's anything else to do except hit play. Hit play and pray. Press play. Uh, where's it? Oh. Here's some Bama. Tennessee can't play too much so it'll demonetize my video but uh yeah it's it works it works fine let's see if the other side has. so i'm gonna shoot a quick demo vid and then i'm gonna get this sucker listed the only thing it, it's kind of hard to find a price price is somewhere between a uh, hundred to four hundred dollars now they have people trying to get let me see if i pull this up like this is on terra peak 90 sold i did Marantz st 1015 cassette deck let me try taking this dash out oh that actually did work i got more hits uh fully serviced 410 they got 409 75 probably as is so yeah <laughs> i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do i'm thinking probably somewhere around 250 and i'll do a quick demo video um to demonstrate what it does because it it's not per it's not absolutely perfect like it does make that noise Mix, although I, I kind of remember tape decks making that noise anyway, though, back in the day. Oh, 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 man, a mountain man. I think it's kind of ironic that Alabama was singing about Tennessee <laughs> right after. Uh, well, of course that happened 40 years ago, but you know, recently Tennessee beat Alabama in college football. But yeah, oh the. Uh, after a back and forth and the guy was getting mad the guy in puerto rico i think he was getting mad which i understand he's trying to give us money and we wouldn't take it um but he finally fixed the address and we went through i printed the label and i'll be able to go ahead and get those overalls out thank goodness i did want to sell them like that's a really good return okay i listed that uh cassette deck by the way for 250 we'll see how that goes i think it was the right the right number there was another one that was working that was uh like 189 but their cosmetic condition was horrible and ours looks brand new it actually does like i, I didn't see any flaws yeah. cosmetic flaws the only thing i had to do i did clean the uh, head both heads actually there's a record head over i think the record head on the left and the playhead there in the middle so i did clean that with a little isopropyl and that's it uh, I'll, I'll wipe it down too of course just with, with some windex yeah there's like not a scratch or anything no there. i know it just, just looks awesome seriously it looks like it probably did uh probably 40 years ago i think this thing is from 1980 mm -hmm. so that might that that's probably the score of the day i imagine oh yeah definitely. it's gotta be yep so, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.